Well, hello friends. It is time once again for another grocery haul. This grocery haul is a little bit different. Um, Olivia and I went last week and went to Walmart because we were running out of things. I couldn't figure out like, why was I running out of stuff before the three weeks was up? Well, then it, I remembered that we had gone, three weeks ago, we had gone early several days early to try to beat the bad weather. And I guess I didn't think of to get that into consideration to buy a little bit extra, but we were running out of uh, quite a few things, especially like fresh produce and stuff last week. So Olivia and I went and we went to Joanne Fabrics and I can't remember, maybe a couple other stores. And, but it wasn't a big enough haul to actually like make a full video out of it. So I decided to go ahead and just save that to include in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the footage from our like fill-in haul here. This is what we picked up at Tractor Supply. Um, a bag of chicken feed that's still out in the car. Um, Oliver, that's not for you. Uh, we got this toy for Percy because he's getting bored with his toys and he's kind of tearing them up. So we got this for him. Uh, we got these for Percy or for Oliver, either one. We've got one of these Kongs and it's little, the little snacks to go inside the Kongs. And another case of cat food for chicken cat and half pint. Now I'll show you what I got from Joanne Fabrics. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Sit, sit. Oliver. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here. We picked up another, a new um, one of these at Walmart because Percy tore us up. So let me give this to Percy. Actually, Percy got the chicken thing. Take it. Good boy, Oliver. He doesn't really even want it. He won't even play with it that very long. Well, hi, little shorty. We didn't get you a toy because you don't like toys. Do you want a snack? You can get her a little cookie. Oh dear, I heard the word. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the um, joint fabric stuff out. This is what Olivia picked up. This mug is so adorable. These didn't come with the mug. It was $6.99 and I tell you what, it was like, took all of my willpower not to buy one for myself because this is the cutest mug ever. And then she picked up these they had all their Christmas stuff 80% off. So she got these little guys. She had bought like a badger, I think, at Christmas time. And so now she's got like the deer and the goat. I think she paid like three bucks a piece for these at 80% 80, 80 off. So that's what Olivia got. Boy, I really like that mug. <laughs> I have got this thing for mugs, I'm telling you. She really, really liked it. Had had she not bought it for herself, I probably would have bought it for me. So let me show you now what I picked up. I got this new indoor-outdoor mat for our my front porch. I'm gonna wait till spring to put it out because right now the weather's just so nasty. But yeah, this was um, normally $19.99 and it was 40% off of that. And I just really, really liked it. It's so pretty. In fact, I might put it inside the house to start with, and then when the weather gets nicer, put it outside. So I picked that up, and then everything I got was 40% off. I picked up this candle, tonka and tobacco leaf. It just smells so good, kind of a masculine, I don't know, woodsy, homey smell. I don't know how to explain it, but I just really, really liked it. So I picked that up. And then I picked up some greenery, stems, picks to use in my decor. Got some more. I'm kind of going to go with like the yellows and off-whites and earth tones for my decorating. So I got two of these like pussy willows, two of these. I don't know what those are, like cotton. They're not cotton bowls, but they're, does it say what they are? just says, oh, here we go, pom-pom pick. <laughs> I got two of those. I got two of these for Scythia. And then I got two of these 
think it's probably just like a wild flower. Daisy Heather. So that's what I got from Joanne Fabrics. And then let me show you what I got from Walmart. All right, this is everything I got at Walmart. I basically went in there because I didn't have any fresh produce left in the house. And I know I'm going shopping next week and I'm gonna do a big grocery shop next week, but I really wanted some fresh, I'm really, really, really hungry for fresh fruits and vegetables. That's what happens in the, sum, in the winter time because I get so used to having them in the summer and everything is like in season and we have our garden and oh, I'm really hungry for fresh fruits and vegetables. So we didn't have any left. I'm like, we have two apples and three oranges. That's all we have left. So that's the main reason I went. And then the list kept getting bigger. And so, yeah, here we go. This is what happens. Um, a lot of this was impulse buy. Have to be honest. That's why I try not to go into stores very often. Percy? Did you eat a banana? Where's his old banana? You need to show show what it's his. Under the table, right there. This is what happened to his old banana. He first chewed the tip off the back, and then just a couple days ago he decapitated it. But he still likes it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's why I try not to go into the stores very often. I picked up this in the garden department. I went into the garden department because I needed some seed starting mix. I'm going to try to, sorry about the squeaking, it can't be helped. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start my um, garden growing table downstairs back up. I want to do some more um, seedlings, not seedlings, what are they called? Microgreens, oh my brain. And I needed some seed starting mix. What is that noise? Oh, goodness. Um, so anyway, got that. Then um, Percy needed some more puppy food, and I was sure the puppy food at Walmart was cheaper than what was at Tractor Supply. So I told Olivia, let's get it at Walmart. Well, I went to Walmart, and lo and behold, it's not. It is more expensive than Tractor Supply. So I just went ahead and got the small bag for now, and then the next time I'm at Tractor Supply, I'll get the bigger bag. So that's just kind of to tide us over. Um, I got a case of my tea that I love so much that's not cheap, but I really, really like it. Um, so anyway, back to the statuary. I saw this when I was looking for the potting mix and it's adorable and I love it. It's on a mushroom and this is going to go out in Virginia's little memorial garden when I plant it with flowers this spring. I needed some wax melts. I was specifically looking for mint scented wax melts because my friend Carolyn from Australia had sent me some mint scented wax melts and I love them. And I love how it makes the house smell, makes the house smell really, really fresh. And of course, we don't have them, at least not at our Walmart. Did not have mint scented wax melts. Maybe it's just seasonal, I don't know. But while we were there, we picked up a variety. I love Meyer Lemon. I love lemon scent. I love lemon just about everything. And I think lemon is another one of those fragrances that makes your house smell clean. So I got two of those. And then I noticed they had Goose Creek there, which I love Goose Creek. And they didn't have a very big selection, but they did have a few and I really liked the lemonade. Olivia really liked this and she wanted to get it for her wax melt burner that they have in her bathroom. And then I got this because it just smells woodsy and manly and I just liked it. The humidor, if I'm sure you probably know, is where it's like a special box or case or whatever that they put cigars in. So this kind of has a tobacco-y type smell. Not nasty cigarette smell, but like a manly, tobacco -y smell and I really like it like a burning like campfire but only better smell picked up some more I wanted some more white flowers um, Joanne Fabrics didn't have very many white flowers so I picked up these two picks they were only 97 cents They're carnations uh, we were completely out of toilet bowl cleaner um, 
So I got four. I got one for each of our bathrooms, one for Olivia to take for her cleaning job, and one for a spare. Um, Olivia picked this up. She bought this herself, and it's a little... She watches this Mariah Elizabeth on YouTube, I think, and she started her own business making little plushies and now sells them at Walmart. So Olivia picked that up, and it's a mystery. She doesn't know what's in it. That's, kind of, that's part of the fun. Um, I picked up some Rice Krispies because I have a recipe that I want to make and I didn't have any Rice Krispies. I needed some cleaning supplies. These are the cleaning pads that Olivia uses for her cleaning job, so those are for Olivia. And then I picked up some of these Swiffer Pet. These are for dry dusting the floors and it really does, these things really work well to pick up dog hair. Um, I usually have these on my Amazon subscribe and save but that doesn't come for a few days and I'm all completely out. So I picked up a small box of those. And then I got some of the wet mopping for my Swiffer. Uh, I picked up some quinoa. I really like quinoa and we were completely out. I don't make it that often, but I do like to make it. It's very healthy for you. I was completely out of cooking spray. So I picked up some of this. And then here's some of the fresh fruits and veggies that I was really craving. Uh, cucumber, blueberries, these were not cheap, I tell you what. Whew. Some cuties, these looked really, really good. Potatoes, these are the yellow potatoes. I can either bake them or make mashed potatoes out of them. A head of iceberg lettuce, some bananas. I needed bananas also for that recipe that I'm making with the Rice Krispie treats. So that's another reason why I bought bananas. Some avocados, these are not quite ripe yet. So we'll leave these out for a few days. And some sweet potatoes. And then this looked really, really good. Uh, if you saw my uh, last vlog, uh, weekend vlog, I had said that on occasion I've been drinking coffee again. And so I got this for just the occasional cup of coffee for me. Thought that sounded really good. This looked really, really good to me. I like golden milk. If you don't know what golden milk is, it's made with turmeric and it's super good for you. And you just add it to milk. You can drink it cold or hot. And um, I really like it, especially hot. I've never actually drank it cold, but it's got um, black pepper, which you need to have black pepper when you take anything with turmeric. It makes it act better or work better. Ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom. So yeah, golden milk latte. And of course, there's no caffeine, so you can drink this in the evenings. It's really good for you. Turmeric is very, very good for you. And then we were out of non-dairy milk, and so we got the unsweetened coconut milk. So that's my little Walmart fill-in haul. Olivia opened her mystery thingamajigger, and it's a kitty. It's cute. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the haul for this three weeks worth of groceries. This will include things for a birthday. Travis's birthday is coming up as well as some things for Scott and my anniversary. We are going to be going away for a couple of days and so I bought some items for that. So let's go ahead and get started. This is everything I picked up from Kroger. I got some of these chimichangas, frozen chimichangas for Travis and Scott for lunches. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of tea and I know that green tea is actually really good for you. And I found this unsweetened brand at Kroger and I wanted to give it a try. So I only bought two of them, but if they, if I like them, I will buy more. Um, I like my black tea, but sometimes it gets it upsets my stomach, and I know green tea is really good for all kinds of medicinal things. Normally, though, I can't find green tea that's not unsweetened. It's usually always sweetened. So when I found this, I was very excited, and hopefully I like it. Picked up some mayonnaise, some more prunes, mostly for, for Scott, some coffee for the guys. I picked up some chicken strips for our uh, supper. We do chicken strips on shopping day. Travis's birthday is coming up. He wanted uh, he wanted Asian food, so I picked up some of these wontons and some of these vegetable dumplings. 
and you want mandarin orange chicken, which you will see in the um, Aldi portion of this video. Pick those up. Uh, I've picked up some more of my half and half, my ripple. I got three this time. I got two things of crescent rolls. I, or, nor, I ordinarily get the um, Kroger brand, but they had to do a substitution. So that's fine. Got some of my dairy free mozzarella, dairy free cheddar, some American cheese slices, the dairy free kind. A couple of things of our plant butter. This is for baking with the sticks, and then this is spreadable. Picked up one loaf of the artis artisano multigrain bread, four cans of chicken broth, low sodium, some more um, low sodium soy sauce just to keep in our extended pantry, some of my honey mustard dressing, you know that's my favorite. Travis wanted a chocolate cake, so I picked up this devil's food cake mix and he wanted cream cheese frosting on it. So I got this whipped cream cheese. And believe it or not, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but there's no dairy in this. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's no dairy. And that means it's basically just chemicals. But <laughs> like, what can you do? Um, I picked up a pound of ground sausage. Four things of creamer for the guys, two hazelnut, one chocolate, and one caramel. Some of our favorite wavy original potato chips, and two cases of Mountain Dew, mainly for Travis to take in his lunch. And let's go, I can't remember if I mentioned the chow mein noodles. I got two things of chow mein noodles, also for Asian night when, um, oh, Travis is for Travis's birthday. So this is everything I picked up from Martin's. I got some ricotta cheese. This is all dairy-free stuff. This is where I get most of my dairy-free stuff. And I got the ricotta cheese because I'm really, really, really hungry for cottage cheese. And they don't sell dairy-free cottage cheese. So I'm wondering if I couldn't use the ricotta like cottage cheese. I'm gonna give it a shot. And it might be terrible. If it is, then I'll just have to make some lasagna or something with the ricotta. I got two things of our vegan Cool Whip, two things of our dairy-free sour cream. I got this cream cheese, cinnamon raisin. Ooh, that sounded so good to me on a bagel or something. I don't eat bagels much, but with crackers or sometimes I do have bagels. So I thought that sounded good. Uh, they didn't have any of the regular cream cheese. They just had the whipped, but that's okay. It still works well in recipes. And then right next to the Cool Whip section, they have the frozen fruit section. And I thought this sounded really interesting. So I picked this up and we can have it, um, I was thinking like with the ricotta cheese. I love fruit and cream and, and um, sour, oh, brain cottage cheese and fruit. When I could eat dairy, I loved that. So I was thinking maybe some of this ricotta cheese with this dragon fruit blend, like even in a smoothie, would be really, really good. So anyway, that is what I picked up from Martin's. All right, this is everything I picked up from Walmart. Um, when, you, when you see the Aldi part portion of this haul, you will see a rug that I bought for our front deck for the spring and summer. And it really inspired me for a specific theme. And you'll see it when, when I get to it. But I want to make a wreath for the front door and I needed some more florals and things. So um, I, I think I'm gonna reuse a, an old wreath form that I already have. If I have one, I have to check my stash. If not, I'm gonna have to go to Dollar Tree and get a wreath form. But I didn't wanna make that stop today. So anyways, I picked up some florals and some greenery. I got some of these ferns. I tried to stick with like the 97 cents or 98 cent ones for the most part. I think the ferns were a little more than that. They were a dollar something. And then I got two of these yellow picks. And this one red, this one was a little bit more expensive. I think it was a dollar something as well. And then I got these two orange colored picks and this blue pick 
And then I got this plaque because in the wreath I want to make a sign to go in it. So I picked up this little wooden plaque. So that is for a project I will definitely be sharing here on the channel in the future. Um, I picked up two of these vapor inhalers. These things are really helpful when you have a bad congestion. Um, so I want I like to keep stocked up on these because like if the whole family was congested, you don't want to share these. Everyone's going to want their own. So I picked up two of those. Travis was out of toothpaste, so picked that up for him. And Olivia needed some more toothpaste, so I got that for her. And then I got these. I want to give these a try. Um, you are supposed to put these under your eyes, and they've got like, I don't know, stuff in them. And this is for ageless, uh, probably something to fight wrinkles or whatever. And I just wanted to give them a try, so I got three packs of those. They're not reusable, so they're just one-time use. And if I like them, I'll buy more. I might find them on Amazon for cheaper. So I think, well, that's not all the non-food items. Um, we'll skip down here. Uh, Travis's birthday is coming up real, real soon, and he could not tell me what he wanted for his birthday. So I decided to just go ahead and buy him things that he would not buy for himself, mainly clothes. He just does not buy himself clothes. He wears them till they're falling off, literally. So I picked him up one of these safety yellow shirts for work. It's a long sleeve. They had it on clearance for $5. So I got that for him, and then I got him some of these sweatpants. He likes Super Mario, and his sweatpants that he had, the one pair, I mean, all of his sweatpants are just worn out. So I got a pair of sweatpants, and I got a couple of other things you'll see um, later on in the haul from a different store. Olivia bought these for herself, some stitch. She loves Lilo and Stitch. Uh, sweatpants, and these are actually like it's not an iron-on. They're like it's actually sewn on. So she picked, she bought that with her own money. And then I can't pass up a cute Snoopy T-shirt. So I got this for me. And it's just it says I can't even. And it seems like every Snoopy shirt I own is blue <laughs> for whatever reason. They always make the Snoopy shirts blue. So anyway, picked that up for me. So now let's get on to the uh, food items for Scott. And um, we're only going to be gone for a couple of days. But like I said in an earlier haul, I think in my in my vlog earlier this week, um, we're going to pack some food for lunches. And so uh, I wanted to take some water. And I didn't need like a huge case of water because we're only going to be gone for just a couple of days. So I got this just this uh, six pack of water. And then I got Scott six pack of Mountain Dew. And then I'll take some of my leaf tea, my pure leaf tea, unsweetened tea, and that will be our drinks for while we're gone. Um, the last time I did my three week shopping, Olivia and I tried this oat milk uh, coffee, cold brew coffee, and we really liked it. So we wanted to try a couple of different flavors. So I picked up the cinnamon bun this time as well as the salted caramel. And we'll give those a try, and I'm sure we will like those. Picked up some coconut milk. Uh, quite a lot of produce. I've really been hungry for fresh produce. Uh, so I picked up two of these mangoes, two heads of lettuce, two avocados, two English cucumbers, some blueberries, some of these sun gold kiwi fruit, they're gold, they're yellow instead of green, and some bananas, and some cuties, little mandarins. So that's all of the fresh fruit and vegetables that um, I got today at all at uh, Walmart. Uh, Olivia needed some more food for her bird Artie, so we got some of that. We needed some more of these vegan strips for Bo, our indoor outdoor dog picked up some potato wedges to go with our supper tonight. I wanted to get onion rings as well, but they did not have any, not one onion ring at Walmart. So I just got these. I got a five pound bag of boneless skinless chicken breast. This is to make Sally's dog food. We got to do that this week. Um, and then I think the only other, oh, I think 
Did I mention these? No, I did not. Uh, honey mustard pretzels. Those are, are my favorite. I absolutely love them. And usually they have milk in them or some sort of dairy. These did not. So I picked these up. And then I got some more of these kimchi noodles for Olivia. She absolutely loves kimchi noodles. All right. That is everything I picked up at. Oh, and also I got a bag of ice that is not on the table. Um, but I got a bag of ice at Walmart as well. And that is everything I picked up at Walmart. This is everything I picked up from Aldi. My mountain of bread. They did not have any everything bagels this time, so I got five packs of plain. I got some more of this Tano Chocolat for Olivia. She loves those. Um, I got some of these bagel skinnies because I got, you know, I got that um, raisin, cinnamon raisin cream cheese from Martin's that I want to tr try. And then I got some more of the, um, oh, let me get it here, the strawberry cream cheese. And I needed some bagels to put them on. And regular bagels have so many carbs. So I went ahead and did the bagel skinnies. They're a lot less carby and I can still enjoy my cream cheese. I got some of my low carb wraps and two packs of regular tortilla shells. Got some cooking spray. I got one loaf of sourdough this time and one loaf of Italian. And then I got two loaves of the artisanal white bread and then one of the Seedtastic. We'll probably take this on our little trip with us. Um, this puff corn because we were having a conversation um, a week or so ago and Olivia could not remember what puff corn was. Well, when Travis had his braces, this is the only kind of popcorn he could eat. Now, when Travis had his braces and I would buy this for him, the bags were much bigger. <laughs> but I went ahead and just got this kind of for old time's sake and for Olivia to taste it and remember and say, oh yeah, I remember that because I know that's what she's going to do. I got some more chips for Travis's lunchbox, some tortilla chips. Um, I got some crackers. This is to go with Scott and I on our trip. Original crisp garden vegetable. Got some rolled oats because I really have high hopes that I will be able to start making Scott some homemade granola bars again. I really hope I can do that because I. There's just so much junk in the kinds that you buy from the store, and I just wanted to start making him homemade ones again. So I bought some oats for that. I got two boxes of penne pasta. Some of these little puff things, uh, these are actually for Percy. He actually loves these, and they're really good for training treats. And Sally can eat them too, and all the dogs really like them. So we got those for the dogs. Got some more Worcestershire sauce for the pantry. I got a big thing of peanut butter for the extended pantry, as well as two jars of spaghetti sauce. I'm trying to stock that pantry back up, you know. And then I've got a ham bone in the freezer from Christmas. And one of these days, real soon, I'm gonna be making some ham and beans. So I bought those pinto beans, and then I got these pinto beans to go with the ham. I got some of these little potatoes. I'm going to do those where you, where you boil them for a little bit and then you put them on a tray and smash them and coat them with oil and bake them in the oven. And they get really, really crispy and they're so delicious. So I got some of the little yellows and then little yellow and reds. Um, I got two packs of oyster crackers for when we have soup. Got some more of these autumn crisp grapes because they are so delicious. I got some Bartlett pears. I decided to go with pears this time rather than apples. I'm getting kind of tired of apples. So I picked up some pears. Olivia ate one already. She said there's still not quite ripe. It was a little bit hard and crunchy. So in a few days, those should be nice and juicy and soft. I got some of these little tomatoes. Got some more quinoa. I love quinoa. And it's very good on, uh, and easy to digest. Um, Got some sour cream for the guys. Two things of frozen broccoli florets. Three boxes of the meat sticks for Scott. Two pa packages of the honey tenders for Olivia. She loves to eat these with that those kimchi noodles. 
Uh, three bags of mandarin orange chicken. This is for Travis's birthday dinner, as well as the egg rolls um, and some rice, basmati rice, also for Travis's birthday. Uh, these are non-food items. We got some disinfecting wipes, two packs of dishwasher tabs, some air freshener, some paper towels, two things of paper plates, and some napkins. And then this is that rug that I was telling you about. It's that core stuff. It's a core mat. It's really not very, it's not in, uh, for indoor use, it's for outdoor use. And I just thought it was so beautiful. I absolutely loved it. So as you can probably guess or see, no, um, I'm gonna do rainbow theme for my front porch this year. So I'm going to make a, rain, a wreath and I don't know, I don't know what I will do, but it's going to be a rainbow theme this year, all because I saw this mat and I thought it was beautiful. I love rainbows for the promise because they, they represent God's promise to us that he would never again destroy the world with a flood. Hey. Stop chewing on that. It's another reason why it needs to be an outdoor mat. Olivia, can you go throw this in my bedroom? Oh, puppies. So anyway, that's why I love rainbows. So then over here on this side of the table, I got some more of these, of this box of cereal and this um, strawberry jam. This is for our church. We're doing a food drive for the local food pantry of cereal and jellies. Uh, and then we got some cheese products and meat here. This meat, these ham slices and this ham is going to go with uh, Scott and I on our little trip as well as the Swiss cheese. And I've got some dairy free cheese for me. And so then I got another thing I just got Swiss cheese because Scott or Travis really loves Swiss cheese as well. Um, as well as some American cheese slices for sandwiches and this kind of two packs of ham for sandwiches. Got some ground beef for when I make pizza, some homemade pizza, that stuff's really good. A pound of butter for the guys, and then some mozzarella cheese for when I make homemade pizza. And I think that is everything that I got from Aldi. I don't think I forgot anything. So aside from going to our regular grocery stores, we also went over to Ollie's, haven't been there in a while, and then I went over to Bell's. I went over to Bell's specifically because I'm looking for a spring jacket. I've got like denim jackets, but they're not very warm and they're not like dressy, like if I'm wearing it to church. I mean, unless I'm wearing, wearing jeans, pants, the jean jacket doesn't really, isn't really nice enough for church. Um, but I don't want to wear my big heavy winter coat. I'm running, running hot these days anyway, and our weather really has not been, um, don't really need a giant big heavy winter coat for the most part. So I was looking for a spring jacket that was nice enough to wear to church or to town or whatever. Um, I didn't find a jean jacket or a, a, a spring jacket, but I did find a couple of items. So I will show you that. So um, I'll show you next what I got from Ollie's and from Bell's. All right, so this is what we picked up from Ollie's and Bell's. Uh, we'll start with Ollie's and I'll start with what I bought because Olivia did buy some stuff for herself. Um, we got some of these animal crackers. They were uh, $2.99. Got some Italian seasoning, $3.99. And this ground black pepper. I've gotten this from there before and it's really good pepper. And it was $5.99. I love these cherry preserves. And how much were these? They were $3.59 picked up some of these dried mango for $3.49. Uh, we got these Cliff Bars because Olivia was starving. And if you know anything about Cliff Bars, they are so expensive. So she's already eaten one out of here and they were only $1.99, which is super cheap. We would have bought more, but we weren't sure if she was gonna like them. So we didn't. So 
Probably should have bought more. <laughs> then we got some of these sesame chips. They're honey roasted for $2.99. Olivia loves moon pies. I can't stand them, but she loves them. So I got these for, for her for $2.29. Picked up some... He is so noisy. Any background noise you hear is most probably Percy related. Um, I know Pop-Tarts are just horrible. They're, they're horrible. <laughs> Neither Travis nor Olivia eat them for breakfast. They eat them for dessert or snack. And even then, they're just horrible, but they love them. And whenever I can get them for $2.49 a box, I do pick them up for them. These are the sugar cookie variety. So I got two boxes of those. Then I got me some tea. This was very interesting. Seven Blossoms Tea. It was only 89 cents. I'm not sure how many tea bags are in here. 10. 10 tea bags. That's not too bad. But it's got orange blossom, rose blossom, linden flower, Mexican elder, chamomile, rosemary. I just thought it sounded really good. So I picked that up. And then I've never had linden flower as far as I know. I've never had it. I wanted to try it. This was also 89 cents. So I picked that up. And I like Twinings. I've used this, uh, drank this uh, brand before. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. It's English breakfast tea with probiotics. I'll have that in the morning with my morning tea. And then I got this, immune support. There's a lot of crap going on, going around. Olivia's just getting over something. We thought it was allergies, but she had a fever, so it was probably a cold. <laughs> so yeah. And then the last thing I picked up from Ollie's was this book for $5.99 about beagles. I'm kind of hoping it can give us some tips on some of her, his bad behavior, Percy's bad behavior, how to train him out of it. So pick that up. And then Olivia, she picked up these two things. They were $5.99 a piece. Uh, Robin Hood and His Merry Men. It contains a book. Let me just open it up. A book, a scroll, a bookmark, a metal bookmark, and something else. It's just, huh? What is it? A pin. A pin. Uh, it's just kind of cool. She said I could have the, the box. She just was interested in what was in it. She said I could have the box. And I said, sure. And then she also got one that's Sherlock Holmes. Again, the book, a scroll, a bookmark, and a pen. And yeah, so those are really, really cool. So that's what Olivia picked up from Ollie's. And then over at Bell's, Olivia got herself a new pair of dress pants. These were, look at the price. Who would have paid $72? That's ridiculous. She paid $14.99. <laughs> and they look really, really cute on her. And then, like I said, I went in for a spring jacket. And instead, I came out with a blouse. <laughs> this really pretty polka dot blouse. I'm gonna take this on uh, Scott in our little trip. It's really comfy, and uh, it's, got, it's like a stretchy material. Percy. No. <gasps> it's by the brand Emily Daniels. I got it in an extra large, and it was normally $40. And I got it for $10, $10.99. It's really pretty. Got these little silver buttons that go up the front and the front pocket. So yeah, got that to go on our little trip. And then they had this dress, it's so pretty. I got, this is also an extra large. It's a two piece, a black like sheath dress. Well, it's hard for me to show it to you, but it's it comes down past my knees and it's a really comfortable, airy, lightweight material. Um, it's black and it's sleeveless. I never wear sleeveless. I don't like my arms, <laughs> so I never wear sleeveless. But it came with this cover up that has the beautiful sunflowers and this black lace detail. It just, oh, just loved it. So pretty. I tried it on. It looked good on me. So I got that. And how much was I? I didn't even look to see how much it was. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love it. $16.99, now that is not bad for a dress. And this was from the Liberty Lane brand. So I got that for me, and then I got this shirt for Travis for his birthday to go along with his work shirt and those sweatpants that I got at Walmart. 
um, just a really nice short sleeve dr dress shirt that you can wear to church on Sunday. It's the Lee brand and it was $14.99. All right, friends, that is it for this huge three-week grocery haul plus that fill-in haul. I will have, um, as you have seen, I had all the totals. Um, he jumps up on the table. Oh, Percy. Percy gets and jumps up on the table and gets things. Oh, my goodness. That's why we needed that book about beagles. Anyway, um, the totals that you saw at the end of each store were not including the things that Olivia got because she bought with those with her own money. So anyway, it was a huge haul. Hope you enjoyed it. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and we'll talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section below. Bye-bye friends. I got so distracted by that little Percy monster. Bye-bye <laughs> friends.